You want to add music underneath your voice and you want to make that dialogue stand out over the background music. The problem is the music fights with the dialogue, but that's an easy fix, right? Just turn down the volume. That's obviously an important step, but sometimes you need to turn the music down so much to hear the dialogue clearly that you kind of lose the music in the mix. Luckily, there is one little trick you can use to make your dialogue stand out over your background music. You might want to pop some headphones on to clearly hear what we're going to do here. Let's say we have this guy talking about some Final Cut Pro stuff. We have music underneath and we have lowered the volume to minus 20 dB. This is what that sounds like. The thing with macros and keyboard shortcuts in general is that they help you to edit faster and save you time. But this is what it could sound like. The thing with macros and keyboard shortcuts in general is that they help you to edit faster and save you time. Much better, right? We're going to add the channel EQ effect to the music track, which you can find in your effects browser under the EQ category. But if you're a sucker for a good shortcut like me, then you can simply hit Command Alt E to add the channel EQ to your music track. Let's open that up by clicking on the little mix icon here. And here we have the equalizer. If you're not familiar with an EQ, you can basically boost or lower the level of certain frequencies in your audio. And this is where that one simple trick comes in. The majority of the clarity of a voice or intelligibility of someone speaking is in the 1 kHz to 1.5 kHz range. And when you add a music track, which is often full spectrum audio that covers almost the entire frequency spectrum, you wind up with dialogue frequencies and music frequencies that clash. That's what makes it difficult to hear the dialogue over the music. So by using the channel EQ plugin, we can take the frequencies in the 1.2 kilohertz or so range and bring them down. I like to bring it down by around negative 18 to negative 20 dBs. Let's have a listen to the difference this makes to the music by playing only the music back. It obviously affects the music drastically, but we still have the bass to help drive the track and the higher frequencies or treble to still get clarity from the music. Making your dialogue stand out is that simple, but you can also transition in and out of this EQ effect because as you heard, the EQ has a pretty drastic effect on the music. So let's create a preset from this EQ so we don't have to do it all over again. I'll click on the save effects preset button and I'll call this music EQ for dialogue and I'll save it to my Brad and Donna category. We need a new music track for this example, so let's head over to audio.com to see what we can find. Let's search by genre and we can select electronic and let's maybe go electronic pop and the mood I'm going for, let's say anthemic and I want to make sure that all the tracks are instrumental only. Let's have a listen. Not bad, let's try this track. That's a little bit too slow for me. Let's try Dreamer. I like that, that's really cool. Let's download that. I'll create a license and I'll download the track. The great thing about audio is that they have an annual music and sound effects plan called Audio Pro, which gives you access to their entire catalog of music and sound effects with unlimited downloads. They are constantly adding new music and sound effects, so you'll always have fresh new music for your edits. Another thing I love is that they have a universal license that covers anything from YouTube videos to videos for clients and even broadcast television. For a limited time, you can get 50% off the annual subscription, so you'll pay $99.50 instead of $199 for the first year. Make sure you click on the link in the description down below and use the code SAVE100 to take advantage of this amazing offer. If you're not a fan of subscriptions, Audio also offers lifetime music and lifetime sound effects options, so go ahead and check them out. We've got our track from audio on the timeline and we have some B-roll here before and after this guy talks about Final Cut Pro stuff. We only want this music EQ effect to happen when we have dialogue and not in the B-roll sections. To do that, I'll simply make a cut in the music track at the beginning and the end of the dialogue section and I'll select all three of these pieces of audio and hit Command G to group them together. 
Next, I'll drag my preset that I created earlier and I'll drop that onto the middle section where the dialogue is and I'll click on the cut between the first two sections of music and I'll hit Command T to add a crossfade. I'll select the crossfade and set the ease in and out amount to 100. I can hold down Alt and click and drag that crossfade to the second cut to copy it to that cut in the music. Let's play that back. The thing with macros and keyboard shortcuts in general is that they help you to edit faster and save you time. That's all there is to it. One simple trick to make your dialogue stand out over music in your edits. If you enjoyed that music editing tip, you might also enjoy this reverb echo effect that you can apply to your music.